Join us this week as we explore Sydney. Okay, Pete, how are you feeling about finally going to Sydney? I'm looking forward to it. You now it's a beautiful day, we're heading out through Kingswater now. It's so different from Morton Bay and where we're from. Um, but I'm absolutely looking forward to pulling into Sydney Harbour in a couple of hours and uh, see the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, and show the kids. I think it's going to be amazing. What are you looking forward to the most about going to Sydney? Uh, tonight, once we're hanged we can see it all light up. You think it's too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Five years ago, when we started planning this journey, our aim was to be in Sydney for New Year's Eve 2024. As we sail across the ocean, steadily approaching our destination, albeit a few months late, I can't help but feel a profound sense of accomplishment and pride that we stayed true to our course and are finally fulfilling our dreams. Currently just passing Manly, and uh, I think we've got 10 knots of breeze. Uh, we're doing six, I think, is that right? Uh, yeah, about six knots. Yep. Six knots. Um, so everything yeah, is going really well. Beautiful, beautiful day. A thousand boats heading from Pitwater to Sydney. Uh, so we're just kind of going with them, going with the rest of them. And uh, we should be pulling into Sydney Harbour, I would say about 45 minutes. Exciting. And very exciting. You can see the, you can see the Centre Point Tower. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Opera House. Let's have a look. Where's Centerpoint? Oh, oh yeah, just over there. Just there. Okay, Jackson, how's the sale today? Yeah, why is it so good? Yeah. Can you see Sydney yet? So what, what are you most looking forward to when we get to Sydney? Oh, what are you hoping to see at the zoo? Anywhere else you want to go in Sydney? Yeah, that'll be fun. I'd like to say thank you to Nan and Pops for Luna Park. They bought you some tickets for that. So how's the sale to Sydney, Mr. Stewart? Uh, pretty relaxing. What is that now going on? We're doing about five knots in about six or seven knots of breeze. <laughs> uh, but no, it's going well. There'll be a current with us, I think. Yeah. And the swell is non-existent today, which is kind of nice. Okay, Pete, you're finally here. How do you feel? Uh, it feels good to be in Sydney Harbour. It's absolute chaos. Um, just craziness. I suppose the Easter long weekend and ferries and everything just makes it crazy. But we're just coming around the corner now and we should be able to see the Opera House and the bridge any second now. Um, so yeah, exciting times. The kids are up on the bow, waiting. So um, next couple of minutes, we'll see it. So five years in the making. Five years in the making, and we're, we're finally here. Um, we're at the start of the journey, but uh, it's a really good accomplishment for us so far.
We spent a few days in Athol Bay, located just outside Taronga Zoo. At night, you can hear the sounds of the animals. It was a very busy anchorage, and with a lot of water traffic, it made it quite rolly. So a couple of days was enough for us. As we made our way to Blackwattle Bay, we needed to make sure we avoided the many ferries crisscrossing the harbour, transporting people from one side of Sydney to the other. Besides the ferries, there were countless landmarks to see, including Fort Denison, a formal penal site, Centrepoint Tower, military ships, the Harbour Bridge, and of course, the Sydney Opera House. Blackwater Bay was a perfect little anchorage to base ourselves for a few days while we explored all that Sydney has to offer. Blackwater Bay is opposite the famous Sydney fish markets and has a ferry close by that takes you straight into the city. Our first stop was the Sydney Aquarium. the aquarium, especially the boat ride through the penguin enclosure. I think the penguins were my favourite, even though they were really stinky. Our next destination, and a must do for me personally, was to visit the Maritime Museum. The first stop was HMAS Vampire, the last of Australia's big gunships. Walking along the decks gives you a real sense of naval history. Then it was on to the submarine HMAS Onslow. With the incredibly cramped quarters, it certainly made me feel a little claustrophobic. Captain Cook's Endeavour was a sight to see. It's a careful reconstruction that allows you to truly step back in time and imagine the adventures of the early explorers. highlight of my visit was definitely the patrol boats. The Navy operated a fleet of 20, each with their own unique history. For me, this was more than just a display. It held a personal connection. My dad served on a patrol boat during his time in the Naval Reserves. Growing up, I remember watching the TV show Patrol Boats, which further deepened my interest in these boats. I like them because they're fast and nimble, and if I had my way, I would convert one into an East Coast cruiser. Last night we had a bit of a uh, weather bomb come through Sydney. We had, must be about 150 mils of rain. I like think it was ridiculous. Um, the boat held up really well. All of the leak fixes that we've done are, are, are working well. Uh, we had about 20 knots come through, which was fine. Um, but the, because it's so shallow here, our bridle came off. So we we're ripping on the, the anchor chain. So middle of the night, the pouring rain, we had to get the bridle back on. Where we are is really close. This, this guy here in the blue boat basically dropped his anchor right on top of us. 
so we're all swinging different directions, um, which made also for an interesting night. And where we are here is in like a little cove, a little cove in um, Black Water Bay, I think it is. Um, very well protected, but everything's lee short. Which no matter which way we swam, we we're always like in a lee shore. So just meant for a bit of a stressful night, but beautiful day today. Solar's charging the batteries, and we're off to Luna Park. I've always admired those who just do it And they conquer their fears They fall back down and they keep getting up And they try to steer clear I'm afraid, I'll admit What if I'm stuck in my mind? I'm not great And of course, no trip to Sydney would be complete without jumping on a ferry and going for a walk around the Sydney Opera House. So it's another beautiful day in Sydney today, so we're gonna make the most of it and head over to Toronga Zoo. Um, and then tomorrow we're thinking we're going to head to Manly and do a bit of exploring over there. Um, and then basically from there we'll head to Pit Water before the glow comes through and we'll tuck up nicely in Pit Water and get a few boat jobs done ready before we continue heading there. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old ones gone on the night And I can feel the sun on my skin After about a week at Blackwattle Bay, it was time to keep moving. But first we had to pass through the Glebe Island Bridge. The bridge is permanently open, but I could just imagine our rigging getting caught on the metal bars. We ended up getting through okay, and then it was off to Manly. This morning I so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the fire Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was okay, is a Manly today. Uh, we're on the east side of Manly, so out in the open ocean. 
Uh, it's really cool. We're checking out the rock pools. Um, as a kid, this is kind of where I grew up, so it's kind of great to bring the kids back and show them all around. It's a good day to... Okay, Pete, tell me why you got me up at this ridiculously early hour today. Well, it is only five o'clock, <laughs> so it's not that ridiculously early. Uh, we're just doing a quick run around to pit water. Um, we have a bit of a blow coming in around lunchtime. So we're just trying to get up and around just before that sort of kicks in. Um, so by the time it arrives, we'll be nicely tucked up in the basin in pit water. Excellent. And that is where we just left. Just for Manly, which was a beautiful stop. Join us next time as we spend a few days in Pitwater before making the trek back to Brisbane.